Hello my favorite geometry students. Today we will be doing a brief overview of a program that we will use quite a bit for a semester here in geometry. The program is called GeoGebra. Just let you know if you want to get more comfortable with it, there is a download. It's free uh, that you can download on your computer at home. Many of the activities we do will be in class, but if you wanted to play around with it or you're absent from one of the activities, you can easily do it at home. Um, so, real quick here. Um, up at the top here, you have all these tabs here. Um, a couple of things that you want to keep in mind when, when you're working on a sketch is in the Options 1 uh, tab, you want the value to be highlighted. And I'll show you what that means in a little bit. Um, pretty much in these tabs, that's all you need to pay attention to. Maybe some of the things you might want to view are in here. You can play around with them as much as you want as soon as you get started. Uh, this toolbar is probably the most important. In this, you have your pointer, which allows you to select and move things. You have your point tool. It allows you to plot as many points as you want. And it names it at the same time as you plot them. It also allows you to sketch all of these other types of points. You have your, in this menu, you have your line, segment, ray tool. Uh, that will be very useful in today's activity and a lot of others. Here, these are all different types of constructions we'll have to do in the future. Create triangles in any polygon real easy with this tool. Then you have your circles, your ellipses. This is a very important one. Uh, it allows you to measure angles real uh, quickly. And then when we get to transformations in Chapter 3, this will be an important tool for us to use uh, when we're learning about transformations. If you want to create a text box, you can click on this in text. You can create the box and type a message, any message that you would like. Mr. Farina is the best. And there we go. Okay. So, um, a couple of things I want you guys to know about before we start uh, with our first sketch next week, or in two weeks, sorry, um, is how to sketch segments, measure segments, create angles and measure angles. Um, so if we want to create a point, we can just basically plot a point and it names it right there. If I plot a second point, I have the option to do many things. I can construct a line through those two points by clicking on one point on the line and then finishing on the second. Alright, I can also construct a line just by having a line tool selected, move the second point where I'd like it, and left mouse click and good to go. Now, just as easy as it is to create a line, it is easy to create a segment. Now, remember, lines cannot be measured, but segments could. So when we create a segment, you notice here, when I left click, left click, on the left hand side here, it gives you the length of that segment. Alright, it's pretty cool that it measures it that quickly for you. Um, there is a an option to change what you want it rounded to. You can have it to the nearest whole number, you can to the nearest thousandths and so on, but right now nearest hundredth should work. So there are many different tools in here that are really easy to use. But segments is probably going to be the most beneficial right now. Um, later on when we get into certain activities we'll, we'll talk about these. But the second thing I want you guys to be able to do is create an angle and uh, be able to measure it. So to create an angle, we'll take the segment tool and we'll create two segments that will give us a, an angle here to measure. Now, to measure this angle here, if you click on the angle tool, you get, there's two ways to measure this inside angle. All right, One is to go clockwise around it or counterclockwise. The way we want to measure it is in the clockwise formation. So if we start here, all right, we click on this endpoint, then we go to the vertex, and then here you'll see it gives you the inside measure of the angle. Now, if you do it the other way, what happens is it measures the outside part of the angle. And 99.9% .9 of the angles we measure in this geometry class is this inside angle. 
So it's very important to know which way to measure angles. Now, the program is also nice because if I'm on the angle tool, I could just go ahead and notice how if I'm creating an angle, I can get that inside angle by you know messing around with this. And I know that's going to be a 66.91 degree angle, and I can finish the diagram off by connecting these segments or these endpoints here like such. I can even connect them using lines. So what I would like you guys to do right now is to construct some diagram, measure some segments on a diagram, measure some angles on a diagram, and then um, attach it somehow in an email or through Canvas that we just learned. I um, hope you guys will enjoy this program and look forward to doing the activity in the future.